What's going on everyone? It is Joe DeLongware and guess what? I got day four germination again this year with the same grass seed. So let's get started. So I'm seeing germination again this year on day four and I have to thank my Mountain View seed that I got at Tucko Turf Farms. I know I sound this sounds like an info commercial where I'm trying to promote them but you know I don't get paid by them at all I got I bought I buy my seed myself and I just really enjoy seeing good products that work so my overseed day this year was on September 3rd I threw down over Labor Day weekend like I normally did do I did that last year as well and saw great results I'm seeing great results already this year uh, obviously there's a couple washout areas we had a bad storm that came through this past week so I threw down a little bit of extra seed in those spots and I know that they will fill in you know over the course of the remainder of September and October but so far I'm seeing again it's gonna be a quick video today I just want to show you some of my results on my first week after my overseed so this area over here was the worst part of my lawn for some reason something happened to over here again I mentioned it throughout the season I was late to the game with the fungicide program um, so I'm gonna definitely get that done sooner and quicker next year but as you can see it's starting to really fill in especially on this area right here I had actually put a new uh, sprinkler head right here along the driveway so that's filling in nicely from a distance it looks bare but when you get down into the soil here you, you could really see it. it it's popping through in certain spots it's almost a good inch in certain spots with the new grass seed uh, that's what I saw similar to last year as well so this is just as just really great to see I'm, I'm super happy with the results so far and then on this side of the house we're seeing good germination as well I really don't want to step out there but it's filling in nicely I did do a uh, aeration I really think the aeration helped as well it's filling in uh, some of the existing one as well I did throw down a, a full pound of nitrogen per 1,000 square feet at the time of seeding and I can see that that lawn is really uh, thriving from that as well we did get some really good rain like I said we got good storms through this past week which is really helping as well i'm definitely gonna have to back off on the watering a little bit uh, there's certain sections that are very saturated and that's you know you got to get out there you got to see that kind of stuff when you do a, a seeding i'm doing four times a day so i might back that off to three times a day and then uh, the certain sections that i'm seeing that are saturated i'm probably going to uh, you know bump those down as well on their timing so that's why it's important to get out there see what's going on in the yard especially when you're doing you know any kind of overseeding things like that now this section of the yard over here i am super super impressed with uh it, it's it's recovered really nicely from the summertime there was a lot of bare areas over down by that fence i don't want to get too close i'm finishing up my last cycle of the evening and and after that we'll be good to go till the morning time but it's filling in really nicely down there again we aerated the whole lawn um and i, I talked about this in my overseed video my process that i did this year aerating your lawn especially if you're doing it yourself it's a lot of hard work aeration especially if you're renting an aerator from home depot or some sort of rental country or something like that that's what i have in my area other than home depot it's called rental country those aerators they're heavy they're they will they will work you to death um, i mean if you're not a strong person and by all means i am not a strong person it's going to move you around um it's it's tough next year i'm going to try and rent that out but we aerated this side over here up here i moved sprinklers here as you can see we're finishing like i said we're finishing up that last cycle we're seeing really great germination down there i'll show you here it's 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 starting to fill in it's going to take time but once you see that germination you're off to the races um it just takes time uh, you know growing grass seed is a process you have to trust the process it's not going to be an overnight event if you're looking for an overnight event then go get some sod sod's going to be obviously a lot more expensive it's already developed it, it, someone already took the time to grow it from grass seed but if you're willing to put in the work the grass seed will fill in it just obviously takes time so as you can see there there was some bleaching um obviously that's from the tenacity the time in the seeding so i'm curious to see how well tenacity does i haven't really used that before i used it late in the game last year at the project lawn really didn't see any really results from it probably just being so late so i'm curious to see you know if it's worth using tenacity you know in the future as well at seeding how well it does if it's delaying the germination obviously it did germinate at day four but it's kind of slowed down a little bit in certain spots i don't know if that has anything to do with the tenacity the weather 
weather, whatever. So I'm curious to just see how the rest of this process goes. And you know, like I said, next year we're gonna get on a good pre-emerging ga uh, game next year uh, during the springtime. So that's gonna help with some of the crabgrass that I saw in certain spots of the yard. So. Like I said, trust the process. So if you have any questions or concerns on today's video, like always, leave it down in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash that like button. It really does help out with the channel. And if you're interested in any of my other content, I'm available on Instagram, I'm available on TikTok, go check me out there. And like always guys, I'll see you in the next one.